Secure. Contain. Protect. SCP-119. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-119 is to remain open and unplugged at all times except during testing. The door to the room in which SCP-119 resides is to be locked for all periods except during experimentation, with the entry codes given only to authorized research and security personnel. An industrial grade disinfectant will be available nearby at all times, and the inside of SCP-119 is to be heavily disinfected before any testing. The contents of SCP-119 are to be monitored through the viewing window of SCP-119 at, at all times during testing, and will be stopped immediately should the contents become hostile or otherwise damaging to SCP-119. SCP-119 is a Pansonic redacted microwave oven. It was initially discovered by an agent who had bought it from a liquidation sale of the assets from <laughs> Valley Vineyards. It is believed that <laughs> Valley Vineyards was using the anomalous properties of SCP-119 to rapidly age its products and create expensive vintages. Records show Valley Vineyard making under-the-table sales of vintages dating as far back as 19 many years before the company's inception in 2005. These sales are what led to the lawsuits accusing the company of falsifying product information and other forms of fraud, which eventually caused Valley Vineyard to declare bank bankruptcy. SCP-119 appears to be a standard model of microwave in all respects, except that the Magnetron unit does not produce microwave radiation. Instead, the Magnetron emanates a previously unknown type of radiation that accelerates time. The amount of time accelerated is based on the time input given at the start and the power level setting. The time input allows for three digits and there are five power level settings. On power level one, the number of seconds inputs equals the number of seconds experienced within the microwave. Therefore, an input of 30 seconds would cause the microwave to run for 30 seconds, at the end of which the object will be aged 30 seconds. Each subsequent power level past one causes an exponential increase of the acceleration of time. At Power level 2 with an input of 30 seconds, the microwave will run for 30 seconds, and the contents will have aged 900 seconds, 15 minutes, or 30 times 30 seconds. At power level 5 with an input of 999 seconds, the microwave will run for 999 seconds, and the contents will have aged 995 trillion 9,990,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
or 90 times 90. SCP-119 can be dismantled and replacement parts can be substituted for every component except the magnetron. When placing the magnetron in any other microwave, including duplicates of the same model, the magnetron continues to exhibit time acceleration. However, replicating the effects of anything above power level 2 have failed in every model except the original microwave in which the magnetron was found. Although SCP-119, like all standard microwave models, will normally only function when the door is closed, during deconstruction it was determined that disabling the closing mechanism allows the device to work while open. Subsequent testing determined that the radiation emits from SCP-119 has a fallout pattern very similar to the microwave radiation it replaced. However, further experiments operating SCP-119 while open now require the approval of a clearance level 4 personnel. Addendum. After subsequent testing, it has been determined that the accelerated time experience within SCP-119 is not accelerated from the perspective of those being affected, instead causing the occupants to perceive that they are simply staying inside of the microwave for the adjusted duration. Should living creatures be exposed to SCP-119 for extended durations, they could quite quickly die of starvation, as they would require as much sleep and food as they would outside of SCP-119. Therefore, further experimentation with living beings now requires the approval of a clearance level 4 personnel. Furthermore, due to the possibility of microorganisms undergo undergoing accelerated evolution within SCP-119, industrial-grade disinfectant has now been added to the containment procedure for SCP-119. Test SCP-119-1 Contents Cup of lukewarm coffee Time input 60 seconds Power level, 1. Test results. Agent attempt to reheat his coffee. Microwave activated and ran for 1 minute. Coffee was still cool upon removal. Test log SCP-119-2. Contents, cup of lukewarm coffee. Time input, 60 seconds. Power level, 4. Test results. Agent increased Increased power level, assuming the first setting was too weak. Microwave activated and ran for one minute. Upon opening the door, Agent discovered his coffee had grown a thick layer of mold and scum, consistent with the amount that would be expected from leaving a cup of coffee out for five months. At this point, the Agent brought the microwave to the attention of the Foundation. Test log SCP-119-3. Contents, stopwatch. Time input, 30 seconds. Power level, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test results. Series of tests conducted to determine effects of various power levels on time fluctuation. Resulting time on stopwatch was 30 seconds, 15 minutes, 7 hours and 30 minutes, and 99 hours, 99 minutes, and 99 seconds. There was no result for the last test as the battery had died. Subsequent tests using a more powerful stopwatch with a larger display results in 9 days, 9 hours, and 281 days, 6 hours for the last two settings. Test log SCP-119-4. Contents, a common lab rat. Time input, 60 seconds. Power level, 4. Test result. Testing had expected the subject to age 5 months. Upon starting the timer, subject became a blur, barely visible in its rapid movement around the container. At 3 seconds, subject ceased all movement. At 5 seconds, subject began rotting rapidly. Testing was halted at 10 seconds, and SCP-119 is cleaned of excrement and remains of subject. 
Cause of death was determined to be dehydration. Testing log SCP-119-5. Contents. Common lab rat. Small cage with lining. External automatic food slash water dispenser filled with five months of food slash water attached to tubes routed through air vent. Time input 60 seconds. Power level 4. Test result. Upon starting the timer, subject became a blur, rapidly moving throughout the, its cage. Both the food and water supplies drained from their containers rapidly. At 60 seconds, subject was found to be dirty due to its unclean cage, but otherwise fine. SCP-119 cleaned. Examination revealed subject to be in poor health due to its living conditions in the unclean cage, but with no abnormalities. Testing log SCP-119-6. Contents, one liter of water in a shallow glass bowl. Temperature in room containing SCP-119 lower to one degree Celsius. Time input, 600 seconds. Power level five. Test results. Time inside SCP-119 intended to be approximately 24.7 years, with an initial input of 60 seconds. Tests indicate to determine the difference of, of atmosphere and heat transfer between the inside and outside of SCP-119, as demonstrated by the evaporation of water at near freezing temperatures. The research assistant entering the time added an extra zero which would bring the total time up to 2,465,753 years, or over 4,000 years a second. Upon pressing start, an immense amount of air began to cycle through the vet. The assistant immediately re recognized his mistake and opened the door to stop the timer, at which point a wave of Glistening spores emanated from SCP-119 and into the assistant. The assistant began to choke and quickly asphyxiated. Subsequent testing on atmospheric conditions revealed low oxygen and high carbon dioxide levels, as well as elevated levels of sulfur. The spores were found to be an unknown xenophilic species of mold. Within SCP-119, was a dense ecosystem of mold and transgranules, water bears, along with numerous other unknown species, some of which do not neatly fit within existing categories. The entire ecosystem has created a balanced atmosphere and seems to have steamed from the original contents of the water, air, and assistance. In light of this test, containment procedures have been updated to include industrial disinfectant. Testing log SCP-119-7. Contents, none. Door is removed from microwave for duration of this experiment. SCP-119 placed in the middle of a large Faraday cage room with freshly painted floor using paint that changes color as it dries. Time input, 30 seconds. Power level 3. Test result. SCP-119 remotely activated, and all test testing observed remotely. Resilient paint pattern demonstrated the falloff of radiation from the microwave. The paint closest to the front of the door demonstrated 8 hours of drying, and the furthest section of floor behind the microwave demonstrated closer to 2 hours of drying. Testing log SCP-119-8. Contents, none. Door is removed from microwave for duration of this experiment. SCP-119 is placed in the middle of a large Faraday cage room with dried paint. Lightweight floating debris and dust is released into the room through a vent. Time input, 30 seconds, power level 3. Test results. SCP-119 is remotely activated and all testing observed remotely. A pattern of complex air currents reflecting the pattern left by the paint emerges as individual particles float between stronger and weaker radiation. 
The radiation did not exactly apply any force to the particles, but rather affected their momentum in relation to each other, eventually evolving into a detectable air current pattern. Testing log SCP-119-9. Contents SCP-442. Time input 90 seconds. Power level 5. Test result. SCP-442 continues to keep the correct time during the entire duration, showing 1 minute and 30 seconds of time passing over the course of the experiment. Testing log SCP-119-10. Contents SCP-289. Time input 90 seconds. Power level 5. Test results. None. Permission to carry out experiment denied. Not funny. Do we really need to explain why this is a bad idea? You already know exactly what that would do. 05 dash. Test log SCP 119 11. Contents Bottle of metallic 12 year scotch. Time input 60 seconds. Power level 5. Test result. During previous tests, researchers have been joking that they should nuke themselves a drink, and one researcher retrieved a bottle of Macallan from his quarters. The 12-year vintage is relatively inexpensive to obtain, but the 25 and 30-year vintages are considered by some to be the best of all scotch commercially available. Upon completion of test, bottle was effectively a 37-year vintage. Intention of test had been to consume during a subsequent test. But at this point, the intent had been heard by a superior who allowed the researcher to keep the bottle as long as they waited until off-duty to consume it. Subsequent testing determined that the results of this experiment were delicious, Dr. Grant. It would seem Dr. Grant is a rather poor whiskey connoisseur, as whiskey does not age outside of the barrel. Your delicious experiment resulted in a 37-year-old bottle of 12-year-age Scott. Well done, Dr. Darrell. I stand by my initial assessment. Delicious. Dr. Grant. The end.